Hello, I'm going to show you how to configure the display here so that we can um, process a 160 bar instrument which you want in PSI which is 2321. Uh, the settings we're going to set are also 1800 PSI for the start of the alarm which is 16.408 milliamps and 2000 PSI which is 17 0.787 milliamps. I'll send you the attachment with all those numbers written down. The first step, I'm not sure what you've done to the instrument, so I'll show you how to do a factory reset so we can all start from the same spot. So holding the black part of the instrument steady and rotating the top and bottom orange discs, they have a spring in them to make sure they self-center but it is better to just turn it back to the center. You'll see, um, no doubt, that uh, it gets stuck a little bit off center and keeps counting. So the first step is the top to the right, the bottom to the left, bottom to the left, top to the right, bottom to the left, sorry. I've gone down too far, up arrow takes you back. That's the factory reset, top to the right. RES moves to the right and now bottom to the left. I just hold it. Those four dashes indicate we've done a factory reset. Top to the right to start it again. Okay, now I'll show you the next step we need to do is to set the output of output one to FNO. So top to the right bottom to the left, bottom to the left, top to the right, bottom to the left, bottom to the left, OU1, output 1, top to the right, so on HNO, we're going to FNO, holding it until the flashing stops, sorry, something went wrong there, so top to the right to enter, output 1, bottom to the left to hold it, once the flashing stops, you can toggle through the outputs. So up and down until you find FNO, that one, and then top to the right to save it. And you can go back in, top to the right, it's FNO, top to the right to exit. Okay, the next setting, uh, down one, DS1, down one, DR1. SCAL, entering that one top to the right, is off. Holding top to the bottom to the left down, you get through all the decimal point options. We want the one with no decimal, so C, 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 and top to the right to save it. And you can check again, entering, that's been saved. Down from here, CASP, we need to change that, so enter it, top to the right. It's on 400, we're going to adjust it to zero. It's holding the bottom left until it starts counting. It'll go faster, and you need to try and let go when it's close to zero, and then just do fine adjustments to get all the way to zero. Okay, we're on zero there. Top to the right to save it. You can go in again, top to the right, it's been saved at zero. Down from here, CAEP, two, three, two, one. That's your PSI maximum. So enter it, top to the right. Two, three. Two, one, saving it, top to the right, and check, it's been saved. Down, color, C-O-L-R, changing that, the current value is red, and we want that to be R1-O-U. So there's R1-O-U, save it, and check it. Okay, down from there, DIS, update display rate. We need to change that one. 
it's on D2, changing to D1. Save it, check it. Down from there, these ones are not required. Okay, back to the start, you've got your current pressure displaying. Enter the menu. FH1, we need to change that. Sorry, top to the right, top to the right to enter it. 290. FH1 needs to be 17,790. Not sure on that one, maybe 1800. I will check and uh, give you the exact number to put here, but for the purpose of the video, this is where you need to enter that number. Saving it. Down from there to the reset point. And FH1. FH1 1800, that's fine. Down from there, FL1. To, that's going to be 1800 it's stuck it's it's locked because of the other one is too low so I'll just go set that set the high point first before the low point that's the 2000 psi at the end of your alarm window the 2000 save that and now set the FL and you'll be able to adjust that to 1800 save that and that's the end of the configuration so we can test that quickly there's green light and no orange light there so the output to the buzzer is off if we increase the signal beyond 16408 it goes red and the orange light there is on that means the buzzer will be sounding if I increase this to 17787 which is 2000 psi 17, 7. Okay, it's going to go green next. There we go. We're above 17, 7, 8, 7. It's gone green. The orange light is off. The buzzer will be off. The tire is being held securely. So that's your instrument reconfigured. I did just want to show you on the laptop. There is software that we can use to configure the instrument. And with the software, uh, you see all the parameters named and labeled. And I can also um, save this to a file, email it to you, and then you open it and download it. And you don't need to be so aware of what the actual settings are. It's also possible to lock it. So whatever went wrong this time where the setting was changed, we can completely disable the orange setting bars so that none of the settings of the instrument can be changed. And it will also show us exactly what the pressure is doing and what that first output is doing. Thanks for your time. I'll send you the uh, file on the email with a video link.